Guten Tag, it's Rich from Hughes and Kettner, and I'm here with Sebastian from Darkness Divided. Now, Sebastian recently did a playthrough video for us, didn't you, where you, you demonstrated some of your, your metalcore sounds from your band using the Red Box. And we've brought Sebastian here today on our NAMM show booth just to show us what he did with the Grandmaster Deluxe 40, just to tell us about the sounds that he produced and why he chose to do that. So go and tell us a bit about the idea with the video and, and what sound you went for. Um, the idea with the video was to just showcase the the metal tones that this amp can pull off. Um, a lot of the uh, a lot of the videos I would find online or just in forums and stuff, I would um, I would um, I would see that it was always bluesy riffs or rock or crunch. Um, but I was using a switchblade before this, and I was getting very great metal tones out of it, and um, would get complimented on it a lot at live shows and stuff, and. Um, with this, uh, I figured, you know, it's newer, it's probably way more updated, it'll probably sound even better. And so, um, so with the video, I just, I made a super metal tone, ultra channel, and I used the boost, and uh, I just wanted to showcase that. How easy was it for you to get, like, a modern metal sound out of this amp? It was very easy. Uh, when I first got the amp, I dialed in uh, the show, the, the tone I was going to use for a live show we were playing in about... 10 minutes yeah um, and now that, well that's because I made like five different patches I use a few of them live but the metal tone itself which was the first one I did probably took me about three minutes um, just getting used to the amp usually I start everything at like five and then uh, just went from there and it was, it was very easy yeah so just tell us about it a bit more detail then you, you're using the ultra channel and like you said you started with the EQ is just everything at 12 o'clock and, and just built from there yeah yeah so um, I started Started on the Ultra Channel. Um, I I used the boost built into the amp. I probably didn't have to if I had one in front of my amp, but um, I don't I don't normally use an overdrive, so I figured this would this would be fine, and it was. Um, had the noise gate on, and um, I liked having the presence and resonance at, at about six. Um, it just felt the best with with these set here. Um, this. The, the amp, I noticed, the way it reacted to my guitar, it does have a lot of um, bass naturally. So this was dialed almost like all the way down. And, and it was like that on my Switchblade as well. Um, and I only used it at 20 watts for the setting because it, it felt plenty loud and there was still a lot of headroom. I used it at about 6 as well. Uh, gain, gain was actually at about 4 right there. Um, volume there. Uh, base at about you know two or three mids. I usually like to have around six, and treble was a little about six and a half maybe. Um, that to me, the tone was beefy, and and it cut through the mix great and everything. It was just not too low end, not too much low end, and not too much high end. It was this was the perfect middle ground for me. Um, and with the way it reacted to my notes and everything, and then with the um, with the lead channel, I just I left it the same, but I dialed in um, just reverb right here, delay. I think I had it about four, feedback at four, and then delay time at like five, and I left it the same, except I boosted the volume just to have you know a louder lead tone live. So it, that that's usually what I have trouble with cutting through. Um, so that's that's all I did for my leech or for my my distorted tones. It's very very simple and easy to work with. Yeah, well, you guys definitely need to check out that video with Sebastian's playback just to hear the sounds for yourselves, and then you can go back and build it based on this. Just tell us, it's an Ernie Ball Music Man guitar you're using. What uh, pickups are in that? It's the Music Man Majesty, and it has the. Um, Oh man, what are they called? Illuminators. <laughs> He's got like new ones coming out, so I couldn't remember. But yeah, they're the uh, the Illuminators. It's a uh, John Petrucci's signature pickup. They come in all the Majesties now. Uh, used to be I moved from the Crunch Lab and Liquifier. And that's kind of the newer one there. And then he's got a new one coming out this year that I haven't tried yet. But um, yeah, the Illuminators, Demarzios, they're really great. So it sounded great for your recording then, but what about live stuff? Have you used the Grandmeister live yet, or have you not had the chance to take it out on tour? Uh, I did use it. I've, we've only played one show since I've had it. Um, 
And that was actually cool too because I was able to adjust it very quickly for the room because these sounded, uh, what I made sounded great in our garage, but we had, um, it, the, the room there was a lot of concrete. So in there, those tones that I had made sounded really like tinny. Um, so I, I literally just switched to a different bank and um, I think I only, I think I only messed with the, the presence and, and the mids. I think I scooped them a little more just to cut through. And um, I just saved those two same patches to a different to a different thing, and it was great. But um, I used at the show. I used it at 20 watts, um, mic'd up and everything. And I didn't need I didn't need more than that. I, I kept it at the same volume at about five, and it sounded great. I was I was cutting through, and my leads were my leads were awesome and um, loud, and everything was just audible. So it was really great. Yeah. Cool. So, are there any more shows coming up, or anything new coming out? Where can fans go to to learn more about Darkness Divided? Um, right now, we have um, South by Southwest, I think, lined up later this year. Um, we're kind of taking a little break because we we played a hundred shows in 2016, so um, just taking a break from that. But uh, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook. Um, I'm trying to think, Twitter. All all just uh, search Darkness Divided. That's what we'll do. Well, cheers for spending the time with us today. Make sure you guys check out that playback video by Sebastian and try the settings out for yourself. We'd love to hear what you think. So hit us up on hughesandketner.com and we shall see you later. Bye for now.